A well-intentioned law is having some unintended consequences in New Jersey. The state's new ban on single-use plastic and paper bags is instead driving up the use of those heavy, reusable sacks, piles of them everywhere. Well, now residents are finding that what started as a way to cut down on waste is instead causing a new form of waste. Ted Goldberg reports. If you have a sizable stockpile of reusable bags, you're not alone. When we first started having to use them, I forgot them all the time. And uh, either they sat in the car or in my house, mostly the house, but I've got about probably 25, 30 of them at home. As a result of New Jersey's single use plastic ban, people like Justin Canning have gone grocery shopping without plastic bags for four months. I've been very good at putting the groceries away and immediately putting the bags right back in the car. So they're at least in the car. So I've gotten that step down. As of May, New Jersey grocery stores that are larger than 2,500 square feet can't stock plastic or paper bags anymore. Polystyrene containers like styrofoam are also against the law. And it's not just bags. Plastic straws must be requested by customers, while paper bags are okay for takeout and delivery. Foam trays are allowed for meat and fish, and thin plastic bags are fine for produce. It's hard to keep up. So without plastic bags, some shoppers are swimming in reusable bags, while others have resorted to stealing baskets from supermarkets. Unfortunately, some consumers just view it as, you know, this is something I need. Uh, I don't want to buy a reusable bag. Um, so I'm going to just take this out and, you know, kind of go from there with it. We're going to eventually probably do away with them because the cost to continue to replace these just becomes, you know, astronomically high. Each of these baskets cost $15, according to Circus Food Town owner Lou Scaduto Jr. And since the ban, he's seeing more people get groceries delivered. And each of those shipments results in more reusable bags sent to people's homes. State Senator Bob Smith sponsored the single-use plastic ban. He says something's got to give, or he needs to amend the law. If you keep on sending reusable bags every time there's a weekly delivery of food, you're going to get a pile of reusable bags, which you're not going to use and which you will throw away. And that's insane. These bags can be used for 125 times, you know, so there's um, ample opportunity for people to reuse those bags and for them um, not to have to think of them in a disposable capacity. Senator Smith says he expects an amendment to come out in September or October. Other than that, he says the law is working as intended. I'm thrilled with the results. We really want to get as much plastics out of the environment as possible because they are literally killing us. They're in the air we breathe, the water, the, the uh, some of the water that we drink, in the uh, food we eat, more importantly, fish in particular. Cindy Ziff leads the nonprofit Clean Ocean Action. She says this law will help New Jersey's waters become cleaner. That hard data will take some time to, to get, but um, you know, we're hopeful that you know, because people aren't using them as much, we'll see fewer on the beaches, and that means there's fewer out in the ocean that can harm marine life. This is a, a very, very easy thing for everybody to do. And, uh, you know, I, um, if this is the, the one thing I can do to help the environment, then I'm more than happy to do it. The oceans and stuff are full, full of this plastic waste and it's not good for the environment. That's not good. So I guess it's a good thing. Senator Smith is looking to expand the ban to try and prevent the unintended consequences of people hoarding reusable bags and stealing plastic baskets. Two things leaders did not anticipate while trying to help the planet. In Red Bank, I'm Ted Goldberg, NJ Spotlight News.